Um, I think this piece is pretty significant on its own to keep alcohol ads off public property in Los Angeles. Um, we know that there's very significant human costs um, and fiscal costs as well from uh, uh, advertising in public places that can encourage young people to uh, start to, and contribute to the, uh, the epidemic we are, are facing currently of underage drinking. Um, it, it, these problems tear apart lives and families and communities, but they also cost us plenty in the pocketbook. Um, Dr. Ernest Noble, director of the UCLA Alcohol Research Center, has studied this and stated that underage drinking cost the citizens of California $6.8 billion. And there's no doubt that advertising uh, is a culprit in enticing young people to start, start, start drinking before it is legal, and that's why I'm glad that uh, hopefully we are going to join San Francisco and Philadelphia in striking a blow against the presence of alcohol advertising on city-owned and controlled properties like bus shelters that are used daily by our young people. Um, so in doing so, we're saying, yes, we can do our part to uh, help eliminate underage drinking. And uh, so I will ask for an aye vote to, I do first want to thank former council members uh, Richard Alarcon, who uh, initiated this legislative effort, and uh, uh, Bill Rosendahl and Tony Cardenas, who also supported it, um, along with uh, uh, Mr. Weezar, I believe, at the time, and I don't recall who else, uh, who were seconders. Um, I also want to thank the CLA's office and the city attorney's office for dealing with the uh, a somewhat complex issue, and the coalition to ban alcohol ads on public property in Los Angeles, as well as uh, the industry watchdog organization, uh, Alcohol Justice, for all this, the, the good work that they've done. Mr. Kokorian, I recognize you if you had anything to add. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Weezar. Thank you, Mr. President. Again, uh, thank you, Mr. Koretz, for uh, helping uh, see this through from uh, four or five years ago when the motion was first introduced. And recently, Mr. Englander helped shepherd it through public safety. And this is a long time coming. It is something that the city of Los Angeles should be proud of. Uh, we're proud that we're finally do this, but we're also at the tail end of what other large cities have done. They understood the importance of not advertising to our young people on drinking. Uh, and particularly when it's in public spaces, if it's city-owned property and we have advertisements for alcohol, it does send a different message to our young people. We are encouraging something that at their young age, uh, they have a lot to understand about responsible drinking. So this is a good thing for the city of L.A. and particularly for low-income communities where we have had a disproportionate number of advertising for whether it was when cigarettes were a lot more advertised or now for alcohol. Uh, we want our low-income kids, our, all our kids in the city, to have positive messages in their communities. Encouraging them to drink alcohol is not a positive message for them. Uh, thank you again to all the advocates. Uh, we would not be here today without your support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Weezar. We do have public comment here. And uh, I have Ms. Margot Bennett, is that correct? Ms. Bennett? Susan Blanche followed Margo. Thank you. Uh, good morning. Thank you for this opportunity to address you today regarding the ban on alcohol advertising on city owned and controlled property. I'm Margo Bennett. I'm the executive director of Women Against Gun Violence. Uh, people frequently ask us why we're involved with this very important coalition. And we say it's because we care about children and because there is a definite and significant link between alcoholism and gun violence. The LA City Council has been at the forefront of protecting our community from gun violence and we see this as another step where you can really help us keep our children and community safe. Thank you. Thank you, Margo, very much. Susan Blanche.
Good morning, council members. Uh, my name is Susan Blonner. I believe there was a mistake on the card. I'm the director of Saving Lives Drug and Alcohol Coalition. We are funded by the White House to reduce youth drug and alcohol use. I'm here this morning in support of this ordinance. The main thing that we are looking at is reducing uh, youth access to alcohol and by them not seeing ads that are in front of them. That will be very much helpful in helping to reduce youth alcohol use. Thank you very much for your support. Terry Marquez. Thank you. My name is Teresa Marquez, and I am from Boyle Heights, resident homeowner. And I'm representing Mothers of East LA and Boyle High Stakeholders Association. I want to thank you so very much because this is a win-win situation if we get that approved. In Boyle Heights, a low-income community, we are we have many liquor licenses. We have gone from 2010 208 to 194 in 2014, but 70. 72 or 37 percent of those liquor licenses have violations to uh, selling to underage or promoting liquor to underage. And I want to thank you to please approve this. Thank you very much. Car Carol Lee. Good morning, everyone. My name is Carol Lee. I'm a community organizer for um, Curry Town Youth and Community Center, also known as KYCC. We have a specific campaign to reduce underage drinking, and we had actually did a youth assessment um, in 2012 that we've been feeding off of, which shows that many children and youth in the city of LA get exposed to alcohol advertisement on their daily walk from school to homes. So we just asked the city council to um, set a reputable example as the biggest city in the country and pass this ordinance so that we can create a, just a safer uh, space and environment for our public and our constituents. Thank you. Hugo Pacheco. Usually when I come up here, I complain about something you guys are doing wrong. Today I'm happy because I think that, uh, like myself, I worked for the industry for, for a long time. But I also got to, God's blessed me, and, and I'll say that in, in this hall, it doesn't matter to me. I became a detention minister at the county jail. And I also a bereavement minister for my church. And I also am a catechist teacher. And I see some of the things that I used to do for the breweries and the negative effects that they've had on the children and their lives. And I once asked my bosses, you know, I see all these senior citizens line up early in the morning to try to get their beer. I think there's something wrong. And there's a big disease. They didn't care. All they cared about was, Ugo, go out there and sell more product. That's your job. I'm glad that there is a government that cares about its people and will do something to protect them. Thank you. Dennis Hathaway. Good morning, Councilman. Uh, my name is Dennis Hathaway. I'm president of the Coalition to Ban Billboard Blight. I think that this ordinance is really a recognition that billboards, uh, street furniture signs, other kinds of advertising have content as obvious as that might seem, and that that content can be harmful, uh, alcohol in particular, but also fast food, uh, displays of gun violence, um, other things, <clears throat> excuse me. And I hope that the, uh, uh, I wanna thank you for voting for this ordinance. And I hope that you will all keep in mind, there are gonna be other things coming up before this council uh, sign district at LAX, uh, a possible proposal to allow new digital billboards on public property. I hope that you will keep this in mind and think seriously about 
not allowing alcohol advertising on any public property um, anywhere, not just on the street furniture. Thank you. George Castillo. Um, my name is Jorge Castillo. I work at Alcohol Justice, the alcohol industry watchdog organization. Uh, council members, we ask, for your, we ask for your support on this ordinance. Uh, we would like to thank the council members and staff that have taken time over the years to meet with us, the coalition members on this issue. It's been a long journey, three and a half years, so we thank you for your time and your effort along the way. I would like to ask the coalition members to stand up and be recognized. They put a lot of time and effort on their own to, to get to this point. And council members, we ask for your support. Thanks. Is it Sean Cooley? Shay Cooley? Thank you very much, Sergeant. Eric Previn. Good morning, City Council. Uh, I <clears throat> am very supportive of the idea of limiting the way we advertise, especially to children, on city, city property. I am concerned about this uh, ordinance, which I think we should approve. You should all approve it. It's a great idea. But I think we should look more closely at the way we do advertising on city property uh, in relation to the items that Mr. Parks mentioned, but other items as well, because I think we need a scrupulous policy so that we're absolutely clear that when the public um, stuff, if I may use the colloquial expression, is involved, that the message is consistent with fairness, with appropriateness, and obviously um, not the kind of pernicious advertising that we can see. Now, it is worth commenting, because these are complicated issues. I think, I don't know if we have a quorum of people in this room who support the NFL. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. The whole thing was in the, oh, Mr. Wesson, what happened? Oh, it's, it's fine. We don't need to hear uh, the public too much. Um, my point is, of course, that we should also consider going after, uh, and people will not like this, sugary colas, because though we don't have the funds, according to our budget uh, committee chair, for uh, Brown Act on the Health Commission, we do have obesity. Of Stay a on the serious, item, please. No, no, I'm talking about sugary colas, sir. I know. Average, which, if I'm not mistaken, we do permit at this time. Uh, there have been motions. I know the Bloomberg idea kind of went, fell off uh, people's radar, and I'm not proposing that. But I am proposing taking a leading uh, step forward in protecting the way we advertise on city property. It's important, and I would ask that this board ask that they go oh, off yeah. and uh, come back with other recommendations. Thank you. All right. And John Walsh, we note your card to file. Uh, no other speakers on that. Thank you. Let's open the roll. Close the roll, tabulate the vote. 12 ayes. 12 ayes. That completes that. Next item. We should be adjourned. We should be adjourned.